What's up everybody? So today, I'm hopefully going to be teaching you a thing or two about geodes. But first things first, on my last video I made, uh, I had you guys uh, comment down below on the video which lightning picture was your favorite out of I think the 11 I had on there. And uh, number 8 ended up being the winner um, as of like 2 in the morning last night. There it is in all its glory. So, now let's get on to the geodes. So an important thing to note here is that all the geodes you will be seeing today come from a place known as the Tri-State Area. It is where Missouri, Illinois, and Iowa all meet up. And an interesting fact is that is actually the place that is uh, most densely populated with geodes in the world. So these geodes we have right here are just your standard crystal quartz. Um, the two geodes down here actually come from a creek bed versus the one up there right here uh, comes from a limestone quarry and the hard part about the limestone quarry is you're actually uh, hammering these out of the side of the wall. So that can be difficult, um, but the ones in the creek beds are a lot easier. Basically, you just scan the ground and the water for something that looks like a geode, and then you crack it and see if you got lucky. But if you're curious how these things form, there are multiple theories, but I think most of these guys here um, formed in uh, volcanic air pockets from the magma. They get air pockets in them when it flows out and they harden and form a shell and then the crystals inside of them actually form afterwards and the reason why they form is because those uh, minerals get caught inside and yeah uh, they actually take quite a long time to form I'm not sure exactly how long okay these two geodes right here are what is known as chalcedony quartz and basically what makes these guys form a little different from the crystal quartz is one, the time in which it took to cool down and the impurities in the minerals that you see right here. Uh, you'll notice this guy is orange stained. Um, that is not actually citrine though, which can occur in geodes, but not in Keokuk. Um, but the orange you see right here is actually iron that got in the geode, usually after the geode formed at some point and that is why it's orange. If I really wanted to, I'd probably clean this out and it would be like a dark gray, but I'm gonna leave it because it makes it look cooler. And then this guy over here is probably one of the more simple examples of this, but you'll notice it has something of a top consistency inside the geode that makes it white. I really hope it's not harmful because I've inhaled a lot of this over the last seven months but I think I'll be okay. Um, but yeah, another thing you'll notice in this view here is that it actually has square crystals. I don't know why that actually forms. I should have probably checked that before I started making this video, but it just makes it look that much cooler. So anyway, those were the two basic types of geodes that um, I've personally collected. Um, from the Kiel Cook area and to be honest that is not all the different types of geodes you can get down there there's like four different types of base geode crystals you can have with about 17 different variations of secondary minerals inside of them but I'm not going to show you all those because that would be kind of boring and the video would go on forever but I encourage if you are interested to know more about these guys to ask me a question down below um basically whatever whatever you want to know i'll try and answer it to my, the best of my abilities i know two different types of base geodes that can occur that i have not seen down in keokuk are this amethyst crystal this guy is pretty cool has a nice purple look again that's just due to the different type of temperatures it occurs while cooling down and then this guy something called celotite or cellotite I don't know 
I'll put the name down below this when I show it. You can try and pronounce it for yourself. But anyway, it's just got a bluer tint to it, and it actually looks really cool inside of a geode. So that's the video. I hope you learned something. Uh, if you want to know more, please comment down below. I'll be more than happy to answer questions because I find this stuff really interesting and I hope I can do it for a long time. So thanks for watching and see you next time.